stirring up some painful memories today. The powerful Cat 4 storm hit on the same date Hurricane Katrina ravaged Louisiana and Mississippi 16 years ago. Coming ashore about 45 miles west of where Katrina first struck land as a Category 3 hurricane there. Joe Ripley spoke with a man whose family had to evacuate back in 2005. And Joe, now they are evacuating again, so this must be bringing up some rush of memories for them. Absolutely. Winston C. I spoke with him earlier this evening. He is from Canada. He's never had to evacuate due to a hurricane, but his husband lived in New Orleans, lived through Hurricane Katrina, and the two decided last minute to leave and head here to Atlanta. Take a look here at their congested drive out of New Orleans and back in the city. Businesses were all boarded up. Store shelves looking pretty bare as well. In the calm before the storm here, New Orleans looking more like a ghost town in that picture. C says he believes local government agencies, homes, businesses are all better prepared this time for the storm, but it is hard to predict just how much damage this powerful hurricane can do. C says his husband has the memory of Hurricane Katrina burned well into his mind, familiar with that feeling of leaving everything behind. It's really a matter of life and death. They're kind of watching the, the radar very closely and seeing what that impact is like on their homes and on their businesses and having to board up. And, um, you know, as I mentioned, it, it brings up so many difficult memories. C says he had friends who stayed in New Orleans. They and tens of thousands more without power right now waiting out the storm. The city of Atlanta expected to see evacuees this weekend. Officials say hotel availability can change quickly, especially with rapidly moving hurricanes and evacuations still happening. And in fact, interest in Atlanta hotels has almost doubled over the last 24 hours. That is according to Google search trends.